Okay, gang, it's your. It's my first mechanic video. I've been doing a lot of musical videos, but I've been a mechanic for about 20 something years. And I have taken on the AJ133 X250 Jaguar engine. Uh, it actually jumped time and blew a piston, busted a piston out. I wish I would have started this video at the beginning. Uh, at the beginning but I didn't I actually did everything with the engine in the car uh, the bad part was taken off the upper oil plate but I didn't have an engine hoist all I did was put a iron rod with uh, two cheap little hoist from uh, Harbor Freight I got a few genuine parts the other ones I got off of auto hauls uh, partsology and uh, what's the other one car parts and car geeks geek parts whatever it was <laughs> I'm sorry but uh, I end up buying a new uh, passenger side head because the piston ruined the lifters and everything in that one uh, I took off I took off the driver's side just to make sure and this is the new piston that I put in the number three piston um, let's go underneath the car here. So, all new oil pump, oil, um, pickup tube, everything done, uh, torque down spec. What I didn't know was that the, the the rear crankshaft seal pan uh, seal plate was attached to the bottom plate and it wouldn't drop. Then I knew then I had to disconnect the transmission from the engine just to pull it out enough. And I what I did was put it right through this, tilted it enough so I can take off all of the bolts of the flywheel, all of the bolts on the crankshaft rear pan and was able to take it off reseal it uh, take the upper uh, guard off get in there and replace the piston with the engine lifted just uh, about two feet well a foot and a half from the cross member bar here and was able to put everything back into place and basically just used a lot of uh, gasket seal to seal everything because I know I scratched a few spots not deep but trying to pry it a loose uh, scratched a few little spots and uh, was able to seal it back off so <clears throat> we're at the park now where I Drop the engine back down in uh, the engine mounts. Let me get a light. The engine mounts drop back into place, and once they're dropped back in, I'm going to tighten those back down and get everything back going. Uh, this took me me about two weeks time because I have been working and I just put a spray lithium grease on everything so it wouldn't rust while it was sitting here in the garage uh, now I'm waiting on my timing parts to come in so that I can uh, get everything timed back up put the heads back on time everything back up and hopefully uh, we can get this thing going I am going to end the video right here and 
Um, yeah, this shit has worn me out, y'all. So <laughs> uh, it's definitely not for the faint of heart. That's for sure. But I've been having fun uh, listening to that, a lot of old rock and roll. I had a friend named John back when I was a little kid, about seven years old. Uh, cool ass white guy. I stand there and he'd show me how to fix stuff. Old city in Michigan, Saginaw, Michigan. And he'd listen at uh, Ted Nugent. Uh, man. Uh, America. The police. Uh, Moonlight feels right. Whoever that guy's uh, Starbucks. Uh, Grateful Dead, uh, Don't Fear the Reaper, whoever those guys were. I just remember hearing that song a lot. Uh, man, had a lot of fun watching that guy take them old school 350s apart. Uh, wow. Yeah, good old days. But anyway, I'm going to continue with part two soon. Uh, give you guys an update. Bye. Once again, yours truly, Dr. Groove, with video two. Uh, just showing y'all, let me get my, my light, the AJ133 5.0 Jaguar XF Premium. I've got everything placed back. Uh, like in video one, you saw where I put the new piston in. Uh, it took me a while. I got the engine dropped back, everything in place. So now what I'm going to do now is get ready to place my heads and set the timing on those engine mounts back in I'm, I'm thinking at this point should I uh, redo the wiring harness uh, I'm thinking of very seriously doing it because I see a few little clips that's uh, chipped and tipped but I've got my fuel pump set and timed I've got the timing uh, timing kit all placed and we're gonna continue with video three as soon as I get the head set I'll come back with video three peace all right gang as you can see I've got the timing tool in locked on that side timing tool in locked on this side I had to put the cams in so I could turn Turn it and get it leveled off. Got the timing set, timing mark set on on these ends over here. I've got these in, but don't have the timing chain on. I am trying to figure out why is the screw missing here. I can't find a screw spot for it but behind it there's a bolt for this uh, oil spout and I'm just trying to make sure before I put this chain on that uh, that lines up right get right back to you alright gang I have got the crankshaft fully on Water pump. You can see here. Getting ready to put the front water side hose on, and then we'll go with the cover and go from there. Okay, you guys, we're getting into the, some of the final steps here on the uh, AJ133 5.0. This is a Jaguar XF Premium 2011 late model uh, I've got the uh, cover on I'm getting ready to put the crank pulley and everything's timed timer mark timer mark timer mark timer mark uh, Made sure all my knock sensors was connected. Uh, water hose is on. 
the oil pressure valve is on the back side of both of these here and I'm getting ready to put the uh, pulley on get right back with you guys